Good morning, Roger. Good morning. And welcome to Vintage Inns. We have a new product which is exclusive to Vintage Inns, which is Worthington White Shield. As an expert writer on beer, we would like you to give us your opinions, if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much indeed, Colin. Oh, that's absolutely magnificent. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. This is a very exciting moment, Colin, because for all my life, White Shield has been a bottle beer, and here we have it at long last right. in cask right. on draft. It's a beer which is, has a great heritage. You know, it's a true Victorian India Pale Ale from Burton-on-Trent, where they first brewed very strong beers for the export market to India, not for this country. And then apparently some casks got washed ashore from a boat um, onto the shore at Liverpool, and um, it became a very popular beer in this country. So there are lots of IPAs around these days, but this is the genuine article. Oh, and it's 5.6% alcohol, because those beers were made quite strong because of the long sea voyage sure. to, uh, to India. Sure. And lots and lots of hops, because hops act as a preservative as well as giving bitterness to beer. Sure. And um, let's have a sip. That's so complex, isn't it? It's malty, yeah. a lovely nutty maltiness, but a lot of sort of bitter hop resin character as well. Sure. So it's beautifully balanced. So I guess to be happy in it. I think your cask ale drinkers will really love this one. Sure. And they'll say, white shield on draft, fantastic. <laughs> anyway, Roger, here at Vintage Inns, we've produced this little cask ale booklet that includes Worms and White Shield amongst others. And we'd like to know your thoughts on it, really. I think it's excellent, Colin. It's very well designed. And I think the beer descriptions are excellent. I couldn't do better myself. And I think what you say about White Shield is absolutely spot on. It's malty, it's hoppy, it's fruity. The fruit coming from fermentation, not from actual fruit. And I think the point is very well made that it goes so well with food. That I think beers like this with a lovely hunk of Stilton or cheddar cheese are a marriage made in heaven. And of course, pale ale and roast beef are one of the famous uh, dishes of this country. I want to get back to that tradition of having beer on the table rather than wine. Sure. But to when I grew up as a younger lad, my dad had a bottle of pale ale with his Sunday lunch. So let's get back to that kind of tradition. This beer with cheese, um, softer, less hoppy beers with, with desserts. Uh, the tradition of having beer with food needs to be resurrected and you're doing a fantastic job with the booklet. Well, thank you and yeah. I hope our customers enjoy it. I'm sure they will. Yeah.